Okay, so we were presented with these uh, three kind of orbital descriptions, okay? So these are parts of what you would see in an electron configuration. So, uh, of course, an electron configuration would be much longer than this. Uh, this is just one little portion, and I want to focus on these so we can identify the parts of what we're seeing here, okay? So the things I want to identify are... Um, so what is the principal energy level on all three of these, okay? Um, what is the orbital type and how many electrons? So number of electrons in each of these, okay? And we're just looking at the the portion of these electron configurations that are pictured. Okay. So in this case, we got the 4p6 portion picture. Okay. So remember, principal energy level is n, right? So that's like the first quantum number, and that's represented by this number that's in front of that orbital description. Okay. So. Hopefully, you guys, if you would like to help me, if you don't want to, it's totally cool, okay? So, um, n, or the principal quantum number, in this 4p6, if we're looking at one of the electrons in, the 4P, in this 4p6 portion, it would be 4, right? So is everybody fine with that? So it's on the fourth energy level, is what we're really seeing. The electrons within this orbit or in this set of rules. Um, here, right, is on the second energy level. How do I know that? Because there's a two in front of that. Okay. Is that? And then what would this one be? Three, right? So that's the energy level that these things are at. So now we want to say, well, what orbital type is represented by this shorthand configuration? Okay, so the orbital type, as you probably know, is um, represented right here by the letter, right? So in this one, it's a p orbital. This one, s orbital. And this one is a d orbital. Okay, so lastly, we want to see, see how many electrons are there in each of these particular portions of the orbital diagram. Okay? We can also figure out, if you want to, the number of orbitals. They always have three. Okay, there's always three p orbitals in the subset. Okay. S, do you guys remember how many? Zero. This is one. Just one. Always one. Okay. And then D, do you guys remember that one? So it's you can look <coughs> at the periodic table. Yes, it's five. So how am I getting that? I look up at the periodic table, I look at the S block, and there's only those two elements. So remember, orbital, only two electrons can fit into one orbital. Okay, so that's why I know there's only one S orbital. We'll go over this again. Okay, I promise you, we'll get this. Okay, so let's do the last portion of this part here. Okay, so up here it's saying, um, it's telling us how many electrons are in those three orbitals altogether. Okay, so that's six. Okay, so let's write that down. So since we have six electrons in three orbitals, all of the spots in those orbitals are used up, right? Okay. So in this case, we have one electron in one orbital, right? But there's how many spots in each orbital do we say? Two, right? So 
we can fit one more electron into this orbital here, okay? We just haven't, right? The, this symbol is representing only one electron being in that 2s orbital, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Um, and then this one, right? So since there's five orbitals, what would be the maximum amount of electrons we could put in? Ten, right? But it's saying that we have seven of them in there, right? So what that's saying is that not all of them are filled up, right? In fact, um, only, in this case, only two of them are filled up, okay? The other three, so if you wanted to think about it, right, if you're thinking that this is my 3D orbital system, so we're doing a condensed electron diagram or, or atomic orbital diagram, right? It'd be using Hund's rule, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then Pauli exclusion principle, one, two. That's seven, right? So we see one, two orbitals are completely filled and the other three are, okay? So are we okay? with at least looking at these symbols here and being able to write all of this stuff down. Is that a, uh, are there any questions on this question? Okay, we're going to build up from here, okay? We're gonna write out big, now we're gonna start doing the uh, electron configurations, okay? Writing the whole thing out. So we'll say, I don't know, what's the electron configuration of aluminum or something like that? Any questions? Do you have a question? I, I just wondered, when you say when you look at the periodic table, uh -huh. you can tell that D has five. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> okay, so, okay, let's do that. Let's just, we'll record me looking at the periodic table, and I'll show you, okay? <laughs>